Have you ever heard of a practice known as a water fast? So, it's a speedy kind of thing. It limits everything but water. Most individuals only fast on water for up to 72 hours at a time, but what if you did it continuously? Sure, you'd be alright. Ha, huh, no, not really. Hey, water is really quite crucial. And when I say it's very important, I really do mean it. 60% of your body is water. I think that's a significant portion. Now, consuming water may offer a lot of advantages. Heart disease, diabetes, and even certain malignancies may be prevented by it. It sounds fantastic, no? Do you think you may give this water-only diet a shot? Could you? I appreciate your enthusiasm, but I have some unfavorable news. You have 70 days left. Tops. You would feel well once you started your water-only diet. Decent even. You'd start to become hangry, as the scientific community refers it the combination of hunger and rage. That's because your body would eventually run out of glucose. Your body uses glucose as its main energy source, which you store when you eat carbs. However, because you've vowed to stop eating, your body would be desperately looking for its next source of glucose. Every day, you could drop 2 kilograms, 4.4 pounds. This results from the 1-2 punch of electrolyte imbalance and dehydration. What follows then? Your body would be in a state of ketosis and would have acclimated to the absence of food. At this point, your body would start using fat as an energy source rather than glucose. Don't be deceived, you could even feel a little bit better. You are a wounded unit. Now, the longer you live, the more fat reserves you have. However, after all of your fat is gone, the only thing left to break down is muscle. In case you missed it, your heart is a muscle-based organ. This carries a great deal of risk. Your blood pressure and pulse will plummet when your heart is depleted of energy. That's because your blood pump is no longer functioning correctly. At this time, all of your proteins would have been broken down, and you would be hardly able to think. That's because you would be famished. Your digestive system would be completely destroyed. Infections with microorganisms would result, which is my particular favorite, along with nausea and vomiting. The situation would seem to be worse. You would feel weaker than before since your body would be malnourished. You might anticipate a number of health issues, including headaches, dizziness, and trouble focusing. You would worsen during the course of the days. More severe symptoms might include excessive weariness, rapid weight loss, and muscular withering. Additionally, you would need to be concerned about grave health issues like sepsis or renal failure. You don't look so fantastic, you know. You couldn't do anything on your own since you would be so weak. A significant risk of infection or organ failure would also put your life in danger. Did you know that the majority of deaths are caused by infectious illnesses as opposed to starvation? Yes, the lack of vitamins and minerals causes your immune system to deteriorate when you are constantly famished. You become vulnerable to many harmful microorganisms as a result. You wouldn't likely last much longer on a water-only diet. You would be terribly undernourished and suffering from a greatest hits collection of medical issues. But hey, you succeeded. And we're now sending the medical personnel to you. Was it worthwhile? Well, not really, no. A diet consisting exclusively of water cannot be sustained over time. A healthy diet must be balanced to preserve excellent health. Though, isn't it sort of fascinating? You made it to 70 days even though you were on the verge of failure. What more can we attempt if the human body is so resilient? What if you drank Coca-Cola for only one month? Grab a beverage from the refrigerator then, since it is a tale for another Raju online.